welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a monthly review. I didn't do June because I was poorly, so I'm combining June and July and telling you about what's happened now. As I just said, I was poorly at the end of June. Since last September I've been getting regular chest infections and bugs and I had the flu this time and it's just rubbish. Between sort of October and January I was getting like three bugs a month or maybe it was just the same one and it just wasn't going away but I felt so so poorly it was horrible but yeah I'm on the mend now I had some antibiotics and I'm feeling better I still I'm struggling to breathe a little bit sometimes um, and I get chest pains and I'm very coffee that's one thing that hasn't gone away I'm I've never been sort of a coffee person but I've been very coffee um, for about like nine or ten months I suppose the biggest thing that's happened to me in the last two months is this little thing right here and you can't see what I can see, but I can see a beautiful little sleeping Ruby Cavalier puppy. Uh, she's eight weeks old and we picked her up last Saturday, or she's eight and a half weeks old and we picked her up last Saturday. If you go back to like the first videos on my channel, for the last two years I've been talking about how much I, I want a Ruby puppy and all of this. And I have her. She's called Dexter Iggy Rose. Um, Dexter, after my favourite TV programme, or my favourite TV character, Dexter Morgan. Uh, because he's ginger and she's ginger. Iggy because after Iggy Pop, Sam chose that one, and Rose because I thought she's red and also it's a nice homage to Ruby Red. Her kennel club name is actually Emerald Ruby which is really sweet and she is distantly related to Ruby like second or third cousins twice removed because Ruby's dad was a slag and he got around. I will actually film some footage a bit later on and I will insert it now because she's asleep now and I'm not waking her up because about 20 minutes ago she took a chunk out of my arm and um, she's very 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 bitey she's either very bitey and hyperactive or she's very calm and sedate and quiet and sleepy like this and we like calm and sleepy puppy don't we so yeah i have made an instagram account for her which is sad i know but you know i thought it'd be sweet and a nice place for me to kind of put my memories down in one place and so I don't clog up my own Instagram because I think people would get fed up with that. Uh, if you want to follow it it's Dexter Iggy Rose. She'll be featuring a lot on this channel um, especially if I do some vlogs but yeah she's my little angel. Next up on the list is Sam's birthday. Sam's birthday was at the end of June and I I really wanted to give him a special a special day and show him how much he means to me and I got him a computer for our music room. That was his main present and I got to admit I gave it to him a day early because I was so excited because he knew he came over on his birthday was on the Tuesday and he came over on the Monday. The computer had gone in on the Sunday and I was so excited on the Monday I was like please please can I give you a present he was like no and I I wore him down and he got his present so next up on the list is Wonder Woman. I mentioned in my last monthly review that we were going to see it in June and we were looking forward to it and we loved it. Sam loves all of the DC stuff, he's very into um, uh, comic books and this was the most recent film after Suicide Squad which we both loved um, and we really enjoyed it. I thought it was fantastic. I'd say it was up there with one of my favourite superhero, fi superhero films. Uh, the other ones I loved. Well, I lo Suicide Squad I love, I know it got panned but I really like it. I really like the Iron Man franchise because I think Robert Downey Jr is really good in that. And the next one to come out is Justice League I think in November. The next thing on my list is my niece Evie's birthday and it was actually um, her birthday just after I was still kind of recovering from my chest infection. It was uh, two weeks ago and we had such a lovely time. It was kind of like a barbecue in um, in their garden and me and Sam were just playing with the children the whole time and it was so lovely spending time with the girls and Lola went as well and it was just it was just great I had some lovely Evie cuddles and we just yeah we had such an amazing time um Evie's so quirky and beautiful and sweet and she has kind of like her own little way of doing things and saying things and I just oh she's just lush um and I can't wait for the girls to meet Dexter it'll be so sweet we just need to stop this biting uh, the next thing the next thing I'm going to talk about is I've had I had three hospital appointments in the space of a week uh, two of which I was very 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 nervous about um, and it was just before uh, we got Dexter and the first one was my Botox appointment my next Botox appointment I have Botox for migraines if you didn't know it's not for cosmetic reasons I was actually quite nervous about it this time because it was a new doctor doing it my neurologist uh, retired so it was and somebody else doing it and it's quite something that I get very anxious about and worked up about so the fact that it was someone new doing it I was just like mm. 
Um, and I don't really remember much about the day because I had quite a few lorazepam and if I have lorazepam and stay awake, I, I lose my memory of that time. And so I don't really remember anything about it. And the next appointment, I wasn't really nervous about. Um, it was the result of my sigmoidoscopy. My, it was like a gastro appointment. And they basically said that I've just got IBS because of my history of laxative abuse and because of my eating disorder. So there isn't really anything I can do about it. It's just something I have to manage, which is a bit shit. Uh, literally, it's a bit shit. It's something that gets to me a lot. It's not something that I really talk about on here because uh, it's embarrassing. And, you know, you don't need to hear about that side of things. Um, but it affects me quite a lot because it can get really, really, really bad. Um, sorry, I've got really bad back at the moment because I've pulled a muscle and uh, it's really hurting to breathe. And the last appointment is the one that I was most scared about. Basically, last April, I was told I had to have four fillings. Um, they said they're only small, but it was better to get them done than not. I mean, they know that I'm scared of stuff because I won't let the dentist use any instruments in my mouth, like the little mirror or the scrapey thing. No, I can't have them. I'm very afraid of things touching my teeth, um, like metal touching my teeth or anything really, and anything in my mouth, I just, oh, I can't, I can't deal with it. I can't deal with dentists, I can't deal with the environment. So when I found out I had to have the fillings, I told them I'd have to have it under a general and they were like, okay, well, we'll have to refer you somewhere special for that, and which I completely understood. About two months later, I still hadn't heard anything, so I contacted them and they said, oh, sorry, we forgot to do the referral. And then another month goes by, didn't hear anything. Again, they forgot to do the referral. And then they referred me to the wrong place twice and it's taken this long, so almost a year and a half to get my appointment to go to the right place. And that's what it was. That's what the appointment was. It was an assessment for the general anaesthetic. And it's like a special service for people that are very dental phobic. It tends to be only people with special needs. Um, but they said to me that special needs can be uh, a variety of things. And my need is special in the fact that I'm very phobic. So that's been put to the anaesthesiologist, I think. Um, and the dental surgeon to find out if they will accept my case. She said they probably will, um, but obviously going to the appointment, I was very scared that I was gonna, they were gonna turn around and say that my fillings have gotten worse, the cavities have gotten worse, or that they definitely wouldn't do an anaesthetic because like the last appointment, I was literally sat there crying saying, I'd rather die than not have an anaesthetic. I can't not, I can't not. I've just got to wait and hear about that now. There's two more things on my list. The next one is reading. I've started reading again um, about a month ago. Uh, I've always been a very avid reader, but I started struggling with reading and taking stuff in um, around the time that my feet died because I was diagnosed with something to do with my brain, which meant that I have a few memory problems and um, a few concentration problems. Basically part of my brain wasted away. It's called cerebellar atrophy, I believe. And cerebellar is part of the brain, atrophy is muscle wastage or wastage. Um, and I was diagnosed with that after an MRI and it was about the time that my feet died, as I said. So I haven't, I didn't really read much for a few years. I've always been someone that can read very quickly. I can read a book in a couple of hours. I would go through like 10 books. I'd get like 10 books out from the library on a Saturday and I'd read them all in a week. I've kind of read like little, a few bits and pieces over the last few years. Uh, the first book that I read again this time was Beside Myself. I can't remember who it's by, but it's about two twins that swap places and the repercussions from that. And it is fantastic it's absolutely brilliant i've read the sample last year and i was so desperate to get it no i was so desperate to read it sam had it on his kindle and um, he's given me his old kindle so i've got that to read on as well as my phone and real life books i do i do prefer reading real life books but it's more practical reading on an iphone or a kindle like if i wake up in the middle of the night I can just, you know, read for half an hour without turning the light on and waking yourself up more. It just makes my eyes drowsy. I've also been reading some Jeffrey Diva books because he's probably one of my favourite authors. If you've seen the film The Bone Collector, he wrote the book that that is based on. That's kind of like a whole series of books. And I read two books in that series in the last few weeks. What else have I read? Um, I read some a page tune book, which I really enjoyed. But again, I can't remember what it's called. I read Bridget Jones's Baby. I've read quite a few. Uh, what am I reading at the moment? I'm reading a Cecilia Ahern book at the moment. I'm not mega enjoying it, but I want to get through it so that I know how it finishes. And then next up, I'm reading a Jeffrey Stevers short story book. And I'm going to start... No, I'm carrying on with the Dexter books. The Dexter TV show was based on a series of books, so I'm going to be reading that. And the last thing that I was going to talk about is kind of a mental thing. And that is how much I've been struggling with my thoughts. I've been having lots of 
paranoia and anxiety and it's really been affecting my mood. I've had a few really big panic attacks and um, I spoke to my therapist about them last week actually and we were just kind of talking talking about it but I've been struggling with my thoughts with like a lot of things you know with my eating with my mood with my anxiety with my OCD I'm just trying to get through as best I can I really find it helpful talking to my therapist but I only see him once every like four to six weeks so I go in there with like a whole massive list of things and I just kind of talk about what the list of things are rather than actually talking about something and working through it my session last week was actually really good and I found it helpful sometimes just reading through the list and we kind of put things in boxes and we just just getting it out there and having somebody to talk to kind of who's impartial you know even though I'm paying I'm paying him to to see me and I've known him for 16 years and he wouldn't be afraid to tell me if I was in the wrong if I'd fucked up if what I was saying was really mental or whatever I trust him after my appointment it was uh, the girls last day of school so I went, I went over and gave them a cuddle and was just like really excited it was just so lovely to see them they were at the park and my niece Lily she introduced me to like her little friends and she said this is my auntie Charlotte and she's so cool she's not like a real grown-up she's like she's like she's 18 or like she's 16 and she's a singer and she sings songs and she's getting a puppy I was like oh my god she was just so proud it was so sweet I'm gonna wrap this video up now because I'm gonna have just a sleepy cuddle with my little puppy here we're doing a lot of um training with her she can sit already we've not even had her a week and she can do sit she's kind of can do poor kind of can do down she knows her name and she's doing really well with the toilet she barks to go out to the toilet and if she does it inside it tends to be on her training pad which is by the door she's doing so well we're crate training her and it's so it's kind of like her safe space it's her bedroom so when she goes to sleep i tend to put her in the crate even though having these cuddles are amazing i try and put her in the crate so that she when she wakes up she knows that that is you know her bedroom and she loves it because she goes in there on her own if she just wants some downtime she just goes and potters in there if there's any questions that you have about anything i've talked about then let me know comment down below i would love to do, Q do a q a at some point again but nobody ever asked me any questions so ask me questions um and i will see you again soon please hit the thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already uh you can subscribe to my instagram it's az of my mental head my blog is down my blog will be linked down below as well so just do all those things thank you and i'll see you again soon bye good girl good girl oh you do like it don't you it's done she's almost eaten it Oh yeah. Big stretch. <gasps> goodness, goodness, goodness. You're a star. Dick star. You give it to her. Dick star. Dick star, what's that? Next time. Next time. Oh, you dopey thing. Next time. It's your favourite. Good girl. Yeah. You tired? Yeah. It's morning, right? Oh, toilet. Dick's up. Okay, I'm just showing you a video. How on earth is she going?